How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Redline Nebo. This is the specific model number of this one is the 557. No wait, not 557. It's 5557. Um which just basically means it's the silver one cuz they have another one just like this that's that's black and they have different models of the red in the Redline series. Um Made by Nebo. Let me get this really quick. Uh, it's a tactical light. It has five different modes. High, medium, low, SOS, and a defensive strobe. The max lumens is 220. There's two beam settings, which is, uh, which is activated by twisting it, because this is a zoom... This is a zoomable model, and it even says right on there. Where does it say? Let me find it. Let me see. Let me get it for you guys. See? Goes from 1x, which would be the floodlight setting, all the way up to the 4x, which would be the spotlight setting. Now, um,. The two different settings, the floodlight illuminates anything. Floodlight illuminates anything in a 20 yard radius. Whereas the zoom setting can get you all the way out to viewing something perfectly out to 150 yards. Um, it has a aircraft grade aluminum body. Um, it's also water resistant. Has a magnetic base. And it even says so right there. Magnetic base. Because some people don't know that this red line model has a magnetic base. Sort of similar to the CSI Quattro. Um, it has a I would call it a semi-aggressive self-defense face because what would be more aggressive would be like the CSI Quattro because this one just looks more smooth and uniform versus this one is more rugged and has less spaces so in a defensive situation has more bite rather than this one. This one sort of be like you're just hitting them with like a little metal sort of rod. Because there's not really much for the cutout. That's just my thoughts on it. Um, there's a rear glow in the dark button. Let me see if this works. Uh, yeah, that's not working really well yet. Hold on, let me try to charge it up really quick. So that could help you out in night use. Um, the rear button features a uh, hard and soft touch technology, which I'll go over when demonstrating the light modes. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up for around fifteen dollars at Sport Chalet. You should check them, uh, check them out every now and like every department has a as this section. This one, someone just returned it. This little mess up right here, this little flaw, I had dropped it. So, like, check that out, because not all the time does as is mean it's bad. Just could mean that someone returned it because it was an open package. Or there could be a slight minor scratch on it. And that has nothing to do with just you know, the performance, just a little bit appearance, just a little cosmetic damage. Um, so, it's FL1 standards. Uh, 220 lumens is what, they're, you know, what they... Uh, based on the FL1 standards as. Um, 138 meter throw, four hour runtime on high, which would be the 220 lumens. Um, one meter underwater resistance and two meter drop shock resistance. Um, it has a little chart right here. So it tells you the different lumens and the different outputs and yards and everything. So 
would be 220 lumens will get you 150 yards, four hours maximum run time, 50 50% 110 lumens, 65 yards, eight hours run time, 10% which would be 22 lumens, get you 30 yards and 150 uh, 15 hours not 100. 15 hours runtime max. SOS and defensive stroke flashing would get you 72 hours of light. So, um, yeah. I'll demonstrate it now. Alright, so uh, I'll demonstrate the... I will demonstrate the... Whatchamacallit? The magnetic base now. So, um... This is the CSI Quattro. We know magnetic base. This one also, the same thing. So let's say you're working and let's just say you're working and you're in your garage or something and there's a metal thing. You could just stick it on the wall. Let's say this is your tool cabinet. You stick it right there and it could be pointing on whatever you're working in with and it'll give you hands-free illumination, which is always a plus whenever, you know, whenever you're doing something important that requires two hands. So um, I'm going to turn off the lights and we're going to just show you a brightness. I could, I'll do a brightness later on tonight about just difference between like the CSI and the, this red line and the Phoenix and the other flashlight, the Defiant. I'll show you guys that uh, tonight just to do a demonstration of how well it performs. Um, so let me get this dark in here. I'm in my kitchen. So we're going to start off with max 110 lumens. I'm going to just point you at the corner of the kitchen, which is probably about, moving it back a little bit, like probably about 10 to 15 feet. So this is 210 lumens with the floodlight. And then let us zoom. And you could stop it anywhere in between this whole zoom uh, setting. One thing I have to know, as you can see with the beam, it's not really a full circle. It's more along the line of a uh, sort of like a D shape, as I could uh, best describe it. It's more, of, it's sort of like, it's not a crystal, crystal clear white. It has like sort of a yellowish orange around the outer edge. And uh, it has sort of a hot spot right in the dead center, but it even, sort of even, especially, especially even in this floodlight setting. You could sort of... In person, you can see the hot spot, not necessarily through the video. So, the uh, the soft touch, all right, so this is a hard touch. This is a medium. You click it, which will turn it on and off. And then, this is zoom, hard touch again. This is low, tw 22 lumens, which just still performs pretty well, even at nighttime in person. This is S SOS. This is defensive strobe. You know, like say, like someone's trying to come at you. It's very disorienting. Now I'll show you the the soft one. I'll demonstrate the soft ones with the light on. So basically, soft touch would be instead of fully depressing the button and making the light turn off, you just push it a little bit so it just switches modes like that. And that's pretty much it for the Nebo CSI. Uh, the MSRP of this flashlight is $35. Uh, I pick, like I said, I picked mine up for $15. You could get this anywhere in the range between uh, $15 all the way up to $35. Depends on where you're shopping. Normal price at a sports chalet in places like that would be a $30. Um, there's also this one. Let me pull up the page on my iPad really quick. Um, they're selling a lot of three on Amazon for $63.34, which is sort of, if you equate it out for you're getting three of these flashlights, you're basically sort of getting one for free if you look at it that way. So you pay for the price of two and you get one for free, sorta. It might be a, a big upfront cost, but if you think of it as a long-term investment, these things are quality and they work out. Uh, they uh, it it plays its part by investing more. Uh, in no way is that in no way is that my personal uh, 
sale or anything like that I'm, i just look up prices just to give you guys an overview and uh, if i see something nice like that i'll give you guys a little info on that i'll post up the link i don't even know the person who did who put that up so i'm not trying to get anyone money i'm just saying there's a if i had the 64 bucks i'd buy that myself right now but yeah need to get paid and uh if i didn't already have one but you never know maybe christmas is right around the corner that could be a good gift all right guys i didn't want to thank you guys for watching i want you guys to have a very good evening i'll see you later bye